pretty easy. This is section 4.2. We're going to take a look at some of these exponential functions and think about the ways in which we can graph them. So I've already graphed uh, 2 to the x. Looks like that. Notice it goes through the point 0, 1. And it's increasing. Every time x goes over by 1, this height doubles. Let me show you what I mean by that. So notice that when x is 1, y is 2, right? Like that height is 2. But if I go over just, just one spot to where x is 2, that height has doubled. And if I go over one more spot, that height from last time has doubled, and so on. So in this case, with the, when the base is 2, it's doubling each time. So how about if the base is 3? <laughs> the base is 3. As you would guess, it still goes through 0, 1. Anything to the 0th power except 0 is 1. But now as it goes over 1, it triples each time. So this is 3. The next one would be 9, etc. So here's what uh, y equals 2x looks like. Here's what y equals 3x looks like. I just kind of made this, you know, this is 5 long. So um, actually I compressed it a little bit. So there's my y equals 2 to the x, there's my y equals 3 to the x. And notice as this gets better, if I go 5 to the x, it still goes to that point 0, 0, but it raises more quickly. So I could also have things like a 2.5 to the x. And as you would probably guess, it should fall right between those two values. Or I could have 1.5 to the x. Notice it's less steep. And as I, as I keep reducing that, Oh, that got less than one, and it goes, and starts to go down. So if I make this just like a 1.2, like that, like that, and then when I hit my anything less than one, it's flipped. It it kind of gets uh, re um, reflected across the y-axis. So if I say one half to the x, if I turn these other graphs, you can see that one half to the x and 2 to the x are reflections of each other. The way that this grows is the way that this decays. We call this exponential growth, we call this exponential decay. And notice that's the same as 2 to the power of negative x. These two are the same. And we know that because we know some, uh, I guess we'll call it uh, rules. A negative exponent flips the fraction, right? Turns it into division instead of multiplication. And one more thing about all these graphs. I can shift this up by adding 3 to it, right? Or I could shift it to the left by adding 3 inside here. And I, you can say I added it because there's my point, negative 3, 1. All right, it's been shifted left 3 points. So in all of this graphing, we know that we can we can move things around. I'm going to make my function uh, y equals 2 to the x. And notice again, we have this point 0, 1 that it goes through. Um, and we know that we can flip it so it goes this way. We can also flip it across the x-axis by negating the whole thing, by saying negative 2 to the x. Because notice what we've done is we've negated all the y values, right? It's gone from all these positive y values become all these. And that point zero, 0,1 is a really good place to center. So notice we're at zero, 0,1. When we flip it, now that point's at uh, 0, negative 1. Right? And it still has this asymptote here at y equals 0. So however we want to move this thing around, um, once again, if we want to, let's say, take this whole function again, and we want to move it up 3, plus 3. Notice that point was at zero, 0,1 becomes zero, 0,4. Center on that zero, 0,1 point. And then if we wanted to take it, we want to move it up three, but we also wanted to move it right um, four, say, up in here, I'm going to go, I want to move it right, so I'm going to say x minus four. Opposite is a little intuitive, uh, counterintuitive. So notice now this point that was at zero, one has been moved right four, one, two, three, four, and up three, one, two, three. So it's here, right? So I'm gonna, again, I got left, right motion inside the function up down motion outside the function. And then if I, if I start throwing in those um, 
reflections as well. So let's say I said two to the negative x, so that's ugly. Uh, notice it reflects it across y, it reflects it here, that zero, one. Um, the flips happen first and then the movement. So if I move this up three, it's going to get flipped and then moved up. Think of order of operations, multiplication happens before addition. And then if I wanted to move this one, say uh, left two, put that in parentheses and move it over left two. So that's the point right here that was that zero one point. It's been flipped, moved up three, one, two, three, and left two. All right, give all these problems a try. Um, if you have any questions, message me or post them in the forums.